Hi, how's it going? What's up? The name is Doherty. David Doherty. All right, it's Monday again, guys. And like I promised, I will be talking to you guys about rejection. Yes, rejection, how it works, what is it? How to handle it, how to overcome that fear, even how to conquer and reject the idea of it. And of course, how not to be afraid of what others think of you. All right, we're gonna do things a little different this time. I'm gonna come out with a conclusion right now and then tell you guys the stories later, okay? So the best thing, the best thing I can recommend about dealing with rejection it's not to worry about it. Not everyone's gonna like you. Trust me, you can be the nicest guy in the world, and I am certified nicest guy in the world. Listen, I've been rejected so many times, uh, more than I can really count. I've been rejected by girls, by jobs, by higher education, and you know, the list kind of just goes on from there. And as we already know, I'm the certified nicest guy in the world. So if I can get rejected, what say you? And uh, looking back at my old videos, I'm slowly starting to realize that pretty soon here, I'm gonna have to start talking about some embarrassing shit that happened in my past. And I usually try to forget rejection because rejection is probably my biggest fear out of the three I've mentioned. So I'm gonna have to sift through my memories. Uh, just give me a second, just. Oh. No, no, please, not that, oh, no, 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 ah, I found something, oh, there it is, oh, okay, I got something. Okay, so this happened to me in high school and it really was a strange set of circumstances that led to this, which I'm not really gonna get into in this video because this video is not about that. Okay, so if you ask my friends, family, anyone who's actually known me in college, um, they would tell you I've only had one girlfriend. And in the future, if I ever do start talking about my ex-girlfriend, that's who I'm referring to. I've had, in fact, had two girlfriends in the past um, and I'll let you guys decide whether or not it counts. So the reason why I say that this girlfriend may or may not count is because she was only my girlfriend for about a week and it was in high school during the summer. Yeah, so you know how those things kind of are. Yeah, it's a give and take. You can decide whether or not she's my girlfriend. We definitely called each other boyfriend, girlfriend. That's, that's what I'm saying. Basically, I was dumped for something I never really understood and I never really got an answer for. And so, as you can guess, that didn't really feel great. And it was a unique form of rejection, I guess, where I was accepted and then rejected afterwards, but I digress. Okay, let me talk a little bit more about this. I basically asked her out and I wasn't really expecting much, but she said yes. And so I guess I thought that that was that. Um, <clears throat> so about a week later, we go on a date, if we can call it that. Uh, what we did, we just walked around a park and talked, which is kind of what we usually did anyways. I was having a good time and I thought it was cool, even though I had no idea what I was doing because I've never been on a date before, but I get home and about an hour later, she texts me saying that we're done and she never talks to me for the rest of high school. I would say that was one of the truest feelings of rejection that I've felt ever because I was accepted and then I was rejected again. And then, you know, it's on the internet now and people know, hi, people that know, how's it going? It's. It's here to stay, it's forever. I'm not deleting this anytime soon, or at all actually. And there's always a chance that this girl might see this video and she might not like the fact that I talked about it to a bunch of people on the internet. Uh, so if that does become a situation, I'm gonna have to deal with that when that happens, I guess. But moving right along, you guys wanna know what I did this month to reject the fear of rejection title of this video. Um, and it's not what you think. I know that we've been talking about girls for the past however long, but I did not go out on the prowl for girls. 
looking not to get rejected. I didn't, <laughs> that was not my intention. I wasn't trying to pick up chicks, okay? I suppose you can say that what I did this week to combat uh, my fear of rejection is similar to what I did on my first week when I talked about crowds, except in a much smaller environment. I didn't go to any clubs or anything. Rather, what I did do is I went to the internet and I found uh, Meetup, this app that allows you to like, I don't know, organize groups or whatever, and then like meet up and do shit. And you can organize it by different interests you have and um, and what you're looking for. So if you want it to be more social, they, they have a social section on it. I went there and I wanted to integrate myself in an established group and hopefully not get like shunned out of the group because I haven't been there for a while. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> Luckily for me, uh, I found a pretty cool group and I might have friends now, more friends now, more than, um, more than I usually do. So in terms of getting rejected by these people, that didn't really happen because again, they shared my interest, which was like, at the time, it was about board gaming, like playing some board games with them. So I just went there, played some random board games, met some people, had a good time. And like I said, it was kind of easy for me to kind of integrate myself into that established group because I am the certified nicest guy in the world. A man of many talents, a man of many faces, if you will. David. Yes, David, I know him well. He's, he's shared a word or two in the past with me. And uh, some of them have been choice words, let's say. More recently, I can only think of my phone being stolen. David goes up to me, sees me with a pitiful spare phone and says, Oh, Michael. <laughs> I see you got a new phone. <laughs> I was very hurt by that. Well played, sir. And those guys were nice, but they can't beat me, obviously. Okay, guys, so that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, as always. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button in the back. That really helps. Uh, and uh, if you want to leave a comment, tell me how I did. Tell me what I need to improve on. Go ahead and put a comment in the comment section below. And subscribe, okay? I need the subscribers. So please do that. All right. I'll catch you guys next Monday. Peace.